Hi, I'm Daniel from iChill Technology. Welcome to a new tutorial. Today, I'd like to show you how easy it is to configure your endpoint according to your needs and requirements. When booting up an iChill endpoint for the first time, you can use the iChill Setup Assistant here for a first initial configuration. The setup allows you to configure the endpoint according to your needs and preferences. When starting the setup, you will find several links to the most common settings like language, time and date, display settings or desktop appearance. I'd like to configure the display settings. Here you can see that one screen is connected. I connect a secondary one and refresh the screen information. The second screen shows up, but both show the same desktop. I add a screen and apply the settings. I refresh the screen information again. Now the screen is the main one and the other one is the secondary one. I can change the priority of the screens by simply drag one screen and place it to the left or right to the other one. And this is the result. The first screen is now the second one and vice versa. The setup window is now on the second monitor. I undo that. Here I can configure the desktop. I'd like to change the colors a little bit because it's too dark for me. I switch the color of the user interface to iGel Light. The color of the taskbar and the frame of the windows become gray. Now I change the color of the wallpaper. I select orange and apply the settings. This looks quite nice. I can do this for each connected monitor. For example, the second one gets blue. Now I'd like to configure the taskbar a little bit. I place it at the left side. And now I will place it on the second monitor. The taskbar disappears from the first monitor. To undo the changes, I simply press the arrow. Here are some more settings to configure the taskbar. For example, hide the system tray icons. You can see here. Last but not least, I will show you how to add a session to the endpoint. Most of you will use the endpoint to connect to their virtual desktop environment hosted by Citrix or VMware. I will show you how to add a browser session. Here I can configure the browser window and their behavior. To add a session, I click here. When I apply the settings, an icon shows up on the desktop. I will call the session Firefox. And I change the home page when the browser starts. I apply the settings and double click the icon to open the browser. It isn't full screen. I'd like to change that. I open the global sessions of the browser, go to Windows and activate this checkbox and apply the changes again. Now I reopen the browser. Et voila, the browser now opens in full screen. This was quite easy, wasn't it? We take our slogan literally, simple, smart, secure. For more information, visit the iGEL knowledge base using kb.igel.com or 
you join the Agile community using agilecommunity.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for the next tutorial. Thank you for watching.